Hi, everyone. Welcome to Domain Sherpa. And thank you for tuning in to the podcast with the best domain name and digital asset content in the world. Today's episode is a Domain Sherpa review titled Nothing But Net, featuring Braden, Josh, and Drew. And on the show, we end up focusing a bit on .NET domains, somewhat unintentionally, and we discuss whether we're seeing an uptick in .NET domain sales and values and what that might mean for the domain space. So along those lines, we play the domain game featuring Super.NET, Science.NET, Vibes.NET, and I IBL.net. And then we've got the Name Jack in a Jet segment sponsored by Name Jet. And we talk about some .NETs coming up for auction, including Broadcasting.net, Optics.net, and Petty.net, along with a bunch of other domains as well, such as Playpool.com, StepIn.com, and Hydration.org. And remember, if you're listening to the audio version of this podcast, you can also watch the video version at DomainSherpa.com and on our YouTube channel at DS.TV. You can also listen to the shows on Apple and Spotify and other podcast platforms as well. And please make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button and all that good stuff everywhere that you can and help Domain Sherpa grow the pie. We also integrate our shows with views.ai, which provides search functionality for the shows and transcripts as well. So definitely check all that out. And a huge shout out to DNWE, short for Domain Name Wholesale Exchange. It's a trading platform designed specifically for domain investors, streamlining the process of buying and selling domain names to make it quicker and easier. With a community of over 3,500 investors, DNWE enhances market liquidity, facilitating more efficient transactions with standard domain listings, reverse auctions, standard auctions, and soon to be added portfolio auctions, including traffic portfolios. DNWE is part of EW3N, a family run digital asset investment company based in London, England. It also operates DomainManage.com, which is a global sales platform, and Brandable.uk, a marketplace for UK and Co.uk domain names. And big shout out to our own business, Media Options, the number one domain brokerage in the world. Find out more at MediaOptions.com, where you can also sign up for our newsletter for the best domain names and domain opportunities available in the market every week, and also featuring key insights and other helpful information related to branding, naming, and of course, domain investing. So now it's time to get into this episode of Domain Sherpa, where all roads lead to domains. What's up, Sherpa Network? Thank you for tuning in today. My name is Jonathan Tenenbaum, aka JT, aka J On, aka Sherpa Winfrey, aka Repeat Davidson, and I'm the host and producer of Domain Sherpa, where all roads lead to domains. Today's show is a Domain Sherpa review, where we get into the minds of successful domain investors using real examples, so we can learn strategies and tactics to become more successful domain investors ourselves. Yeah, these are the experts, the OGs. The Repeat Davidson is a. Uh, Drew says I repeat myself sometimes when I'm summarizing. Things. No, you don't just repeat. No, it's actually not about repeating yourself. You do that too, but it's repeating. It's summarizing and repeating what everybody else has already stated. Yeah, oh, like, he, it, and you, JT, but you're doing it in a way as if it was yours. You only do that. It's you remarkable. only do that. You only do it every time. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of like you know trying to center the conversation, make sure everybody's clear on what we've said. You know what I'm saying? What we've talking about, so we all well, we know have- what. We have an intelligent audience, and they don't. They well, don't and it, instant I recap. mean, you know, hey, have you, you know? Look, I got mad love for our audience. You know what I'm saying? But you're giving them a lot of credit right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm just playing, people. I love y'all. I love y'all. Hey, that's what it is. I get disrespected. I'm just kicking. Billy, Billy. Is <laughs> what it, you hurt me? I have to hurt. I have to hurt. I have to push the pain out onto others. You know. Speaking of Billy, it's how it works in house with Billy. Drew screams at me, I scream at Billy. You know what I'm saying? It's like everything's rolling downhill. That's how we do it. All right, <laughs> let's keep it moving though. Let's keep it moving. We got four segments to a domain Sherpa review. We got the grand opening. That's why I intro the Sherpas. We talk about what's going on with them. Uh, then we go into the domain game where we hear about what they recently bought or sold. Everybody guesses. We keep score, get some swag to the winner. Then we got Name Jack and a Jet, sponsored by Name Jet, where we review a list of domains coming up for auction, see what the Sherpas like and what they don't like. And then last but not least, we got Grand Closing, where we discuss anything we have not already covered, what's going on in the domain space, looking at market trends, current events, and allowing our guests to mention and promote anything they want to talk about that we have not already discussed. So with that, let's go ahead and introduce the Sherpas over to my right. We got my boy, Braden Pollock, a.k.a. Tony Stark, a.k.a. Benjamin Button, a.k.a. Eat Bray Love, a.k.a. Braden Statham, a.k.a. Braden Pollockton, the Archduke of Calabasas, the Viscount of Woodland Hills. Not that your domain is worthless, it's just that it's worth less. What's up, dude? What's happening? 
Good to be back. Yeah, I guess who's back? Back, back. I get to do yeah, that. It's, 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 it's a bummer. I've been on for a while and I was I was busy not being invited. <laughs> hey, man, you, know, you were very, very busy not getting a call. Yo, I feel you. Yeah, it's super <laughs> hard. That shit's hard. You know, oh come on, man! It is all good. But I came and back I, representing. Look, look, I'm wearing. I love it. That's what it is. Absolutely, I love it. Sure, I'm coming back strong. Buddy. It's a strong, it's a strong comeback. I That's would it. wear mine too if I ever got one. JT, oh, dude, it's come to the house. I literally have like a pile of them, and I got one like that probably actually has a post-it with your name on it. So. You know, anytime, man, anytime. You just gotta have to play a little bit of pickleball when you come over, you know. So and I know that feels like work to you now, but you know, like uh especially with somebody like me. But um it's uh you know, but but we got the uh the ICA thing coming up in uh in January. I have not played since then. Amara's gonna be mad because he's like, Man, you gotta get your I'm game on, get that. to work. But um not, not I've, be I've also not been playing lately because it's been so uh, there's no indoor courts that are close by. And it has been so hot here. It just finally cooled off this week, but it was like 116 degrees. There's no way I was going outside in that sun. To play. That's crazy, man. That's actually that's 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 like that's definitely too hot. Um, it's been really wet here in Florida. Florida's been insane the last like two weeks. We first well, nice day today in a while. Knock on wood, man. Because we had a um, we had a pretty dry August. It was hot as usual, but it was dry, which was nice. And then the minute I said something, where I'm like, oh, it's been pretty dry. I haven't been too wet. And then all of a sudden, it was like two weeks of just crazy never like can't go outside like pouring down rain just you know so it's good that we're uh we'll slide into the fall weather which is where it starts to get nice out here all right well welcome back Braden. it's great to have you great to see you and uh excited for today's show let's keep it moving around the horn to my lower right i got my boy andrew rosner aka morpheus aka the dirk diggler of digital assets aka bob lee swagger the sniper aka drew drew got what i need aka every rosner has his thorn aka never gonna give drew up aka gray beard the domain pirate Arr. what up dog sup <laughs> sup with it all right, cool, man. You got anything interesting going on? What's up? You're like you back in the saddle, getting some work done. What's happening? Yeah, I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, today, today, today for whatever reason actually happens to be a very lucky day for me. I don't know why. It was funny. I woke up and um, a series of very small, inconsequential things just started aligning today. It was very, uh, very interesting. And by the third one, I designated that today was a lucky day for me so Ooh, that's okay. what i believe that's what i believe i'm sticking to it right. uh and the luck has continued again nothing material or you know particularly consequential but just a series of you know say daily life smoothing events that have worked out in ways that didn't to go that way but they did consecutively so uh today's a lucky day um and uh i'm sticking with it and I'm, you know, I'm breathing deeply today. I'm trying to just get grounded because I think that Armageddon starts tomorrow. So uh, <laughs> that's it. Um, that's yeah, well, you know, so a couple things, you know, you got like the opposite of like if you, anybody has kids, you know, who's ever seen the Lemony Snicket and the se- the series of unfortunate events for you. It's the uh, it's a series of fortunate events, which is cool. So, you know, for those of us who are are football fans, and uh, that's because and fortune favors the bold. You know, so there you go. You, fortune favors the you're bold. The opposite of bold. If you're timid, there's very little fortune in your destiny. That, that is that's true. a good point. That's very, very, very true. Uh, if unless if you're an Eagles fan, you're not feeling fortunate today. We lost a game last night. I say we, you know, like I'm on the team, but it was a uh, crushing defeat where we basically we call it a come from ahead loss where they had a lead. Basically, like a 99% chance of winning. And they gave up a drive to the Falcons, the Atlanta Falcons, who won in the last second. So all my Eagles fans are feeling pretty pretty shitty this morning, including my kids. But, you know, it's uh, it's how we roll. You know what I'm saying? It's how we do it. But for those of who it is a series of fortunate events, then you know what? Let's like, let's lean into that today. I like it. I like that. Let's go. Let's get it. All right. So with that, let's keep it moving. Below me, I got my boy, the one and only Josh Reason, a.k.a. Bjorn Borg, a.k.a. Harry Kane, a.k.a. Prince Harry, a.k.a. Prince Harry Kane, a.k.a. Chicka Chicka Slim Shady. I like how you're still rocking the blonde, man. You've been doing the blonde thing heavy now for a minute. And uh, a.k.a. Uh, I don't know. I don't have a pickleball like a good pickleball, aka. But we gotta. Oh, good, dude. 
We got to come up with something, you know what I'm saying? So, but what's good with you, man? What's happening? Oh, oh pickled eggs. <laughs> pickled eggs. Oh, man, uh, just doing my thing. Doing. I'm coming out of uh, domain name retirement the last like six months after not really working for like a few years and getting back on the grind and uh, excited to be working again and feeling good, feeling healthy, feeling fit. I feel like you're making some, you know, strong contributions on uh, uh, domain Twitter. Yeah, I, I took a, I took a few years off domain Twitter. I'm coming back. Um, coming back strong? Coming back, yep. Got things to do. So, got to engage with the community again. Okay. It's fun. It's fun. There's, there's, some, there's some good people out there. Yeah, agreed. agreed. Dude, I mean, that's our people. That's our community. You know what I'm saying? I love it. Like, so it's what, uh, you know. I don't know. I got to keep it moving, though. I'm like, now I'm like thinking I don't want to, I don't want to just summarize what you said. Yeah, yeah man. I mean, like, I, I enjoy, I enjoy communicating with most of the community. You know, there's, Ooh, okay. there's, 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 there's one or two people here and there that will, you know, pull on your strings, but it's no big oh, deal. Look, I think it's like that in any space. You know, it's funny. And you and I talk about this kind of thing, but, you know, you've got people in all, especially when you're online, right? And you got social media access and all this stuff, like, get some weirdos that like will just literally like you know he said pull your strings push your buttons on some real weird dumb shit but overall man man domain space is where it's at are you saying i'm weird not you necessarily but you definitely push the buttons (laughs) you know what i'm saying (laughs) um but uh you know i wouldn't say normal love me i love me some buttons (laughs) you love you some you um but uh, <laughs> I, I enjoy i enjoy pushing buttons as well but it's yeah, like braiding, you have braiding. to be able to do it the right way you might right? get upgraded to host on your first your first <laughs> show back <laughs> you don't like i'm talking a little bit of smack you know what i mean um but no look this is why we love going to domain conferences this is why braiding goes to all the domain conferences you know what i'm saying it's like you know oh i, really? I posted that on twitter the other day you i'm still trying to figure out really why braiding goes to all the domain conferences <laughs> they're like he's like say less you know what i'm saying somebody hits Braden up and they're like hey Braden, we're thinking about it. he's like i'm there <laughs> you, know, like, <laughs> you don't have a lot to do man i got, I got all kinds of time so oh hey dude look it's a great college i mean and hey you are in a position to be able to globe trot and do your thing your domains make you a bunch of dough and you're just you know and this is your thing it's awesome it's, it's the one stuff. thing I can talk to. I can talk about intelligently. So why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I do it? Well, hey man, yeah, we're, yeah. we're all here doing what we do, and it's all. It really is all in good fun. Let's and go back on the domain game. Let's go. All, all right, right, let's, let's go. go, guys. All right, we're gonna move ahead let's to the domain go. game. <laughs> Got uh, we you know, as you all know, we keep score. We get some swag with the winner, such as the hoodie that Braden's wearing, the hoodie that I'm rocking. Let's go. I got the other version, Ooh. and. uh so, Braden, what's good, man? It's been a minute. I know you got tons of sales. I mean, I've been seeing you've been absolutely killing it. And, uh, you know, they just, so uh, they just keep keep coming. Um, I have uh, I'm I'm almost four million in sales this year. And uh, which is which is a record for me already. Oh, that's so, awesome. So it's can you good. share like what your typical year? I mean, if so, if you're doing two to three, is that a good year? Is that like, yeah, I'm, I'm usually like, you know, 2 million or like 2.3 in that, in that range. Um, and I've, you know, I'm, I've almost doubled that already and, and it's, and it's September yeah. and, and, and Q3 has been super strong. I had a bunch of hits, including my biggest, which I can't, I can't report, but I had a, I had a big sale just, yeah, just yeah. my last one a few days ago. Let's go, man. Well, congratulations, Sue. That's awesome. All right. Well, you got one that you can't disclose or a buy that you want to talk about? Yeah. 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 I got I got something. I, it's, it's only that it's only that one, which there's there's no NDA, but they're looking at more of my names and I don't want to I don't want to piss them off. So, oh, hey, dude. I'm totally with it, man. It's uh so um all right. So 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 I got a I've got a sale. All right. I've got a let's go with the dot net. Oh, okay. right. .net. Super. I just picked up a .net that I, I was super happy about. Go ahead. Yeah. Super.net. Oh, okay, okay. 
Now, wait, why? Tell me something real quick. Why, why does that ring a bell? Did, didn't we talked about that on the show? Did you, know, you buy it in the NamesCon auction? You bought that recently. That was like yeah. that GoDaddy auction super recently, Snap, right? Snap names, Snap names, name jet. It was like three months ago. Two. Yeah, super recent. Yeah, yeah, two month old. Oh, man. Yeah, because I wanted that name. I don't remember if I bailed because of the price or I just missed it, but. That was a I, that was a banger. That was a great. I name. was I was on that name. I was like, nobody's getting this name. I'm gonna. I was, I was watching it. All right, let's go. Get your phones out. Let's go. All right, here we go. All right, Josh, if you're ready, three, two, one. Oh my God! Oh my God! Really, he's counting down. I, I'm gonna just leave the stupid fucking number I got on my thing because you fucked me up yeah, with the yeah, your rush three two one. Why bullshit. are you cheating, Drew? Why? Why, dude? Cheating? This God. motherfucker sees me typing Wait, you, my you, number. You, he starts, I didn't you, see you, you typing. I, I was gonna have done, a and I saw you typing. How long does it take to type in a number? It's crazy. First off, right. I don't even know what y'all wrote. I don't. I don't know. Okay, I don't let's turn on what y'all wrote. Let's turn on. better anyway. I'm low. All right, I'm at twenty thousand. Low. That's like what he paid for the fuck. He probably paid twelve, fifteen. And something like that. Hey, hey, oh, hey. All right, so hey, I'm, at, he, I'm at 50,000. dude. He's the host. I'm at 50,000. Drew's at about 75,000. What was your number? 77,499. You, you, you were at 20. What do you think? <laughs> For the people who are listening, they don't know what I was at. They don't know. <laughs> no, I, was, I was at, I was supposed to be a 75 just for the record, but I put 77 because, right. you know, he got me all twisted. With no, yeah, you were you were actually at uh, 74,995 or something like that. Me, I'm, I, I never changed it. Mine was seventy-seven, four nine nine. I okay, meant Josh to say seventy-five, 95 four nine nine, but I typed seventy-seven. And so I'm at twenty thousand, yeah. but I did switch your twenty when they JT, changed. JT, that me. doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> Ooh, okay, good, good. I like it. I like it. All right, it well, go ahead. Doesn't matter. Uh, uh, it, I sold it for one hundred and fifty thousand. Oh, I almost put. I almost put one forty-nine. And I then almost I said, put the I'm number, the exact number, but I didn't. And Josh, no, I did. I, I was going to put Josh had it. and I said, I'm going to do half of that. And Bang. and uh, Drew is right about my purchase price. I paid just over 15000 for it. Got yeah. it. Okay. Damn, dude. Yeah. yeah great 15. name, though. Just a great name. 15 Gs. That's a nice 10, yeah, 10x in 90 days. Yep. 10x. 10, 15 yeah, grand to 150 grand in two months. Two months. Bro, you, you talk about it. a series of fortunate a, events. You sold it to a dot com. You sold it to a dot com owner. I did. <laughs> yeah, it's that, it, we had the guy that bought super.com on this show. So. No, not not super.com. No, no, but he's ta- talking about who the yeah. Super oh, file. oh, I figured that I thought I figured super.com is the one that bought it. Who bought it? Superfile.com. Whoever <laughs> that is. Okay. I I I I'm hesitant to even say this because I really don't want my audience to, you know, go out and do anything with this statement I'm about to make. Don't say it then. Because (laughs) it is highly speculative and I'm extremely biased and I don't really have any evidence to support this except that Braden has maybe supported it a little bit with his his sale here. That's clearly, you know, it's an exception. It's an exceptional name, et cetera, et cetera. But I do feel that we've probably hit the bottom on .NET in terms of like user adoption, end user adoption, price in the market. From what I can tell, yeah, unless I it's a name like a super .NET, people don't give a shit. Like you can pick up great .NETs for, you know, in the hundreds of dollars, one word .NETs, three letter .NETs that are meaningful, good letters. And uh, that seems uh it seems like the wrong price it seems like the wrong price yeah i agree with you they're they're, they're cheaper than they've ever been before 100 percent. yep yep people people don't like them i you know they're i think they're sleepers because it, it, look the thing is that it's it's a legacy extension so to me anything that's like not high tech i think could be on the dot net but uh, but I mean, I still see technology companies, which, you know, this sale was to a technology company. I still see them use .NET. It's still a good alternative for a .com, which is going to be 10 to 20 times more expensive if it's available, which is probably not, right? If Correct. We're talking, Correct. Uh, but but the thing is with the .NETs, it's like it has to be a really good SLD. Oh, like, and it has to tell words. 
and it has to somehow dovetail with the net. Um, doesn't it have to? Uh, I, although I, I would say, yeah, today it does more than before because it doesn't have the same SEO value that it used to have. And so I think it needs to have more brand power to make up for that. And I think to have that type of brand power, it needs to be an absolute killer SLD or yeah. it's got to dovetail well with the, with the TLD. Well, I think the weaker the TLD, the stronger the SLD, right? Yeah, so, for sure. So you could have any kind of weak SLD on a .com because it's so strong. But, yeah. but if it's a .net, which is not nearly as strong as a .com, you really have to pick up the other side of the dot, right? It really has to be a strong SLD. And a, and a word like super doesn't, I mean, I, I'll, I in June, I sold spring.net for a hundred grand. Spring mm. is another great SLD. Well, I'm going to do I wouldn't a pick up a bunch of random there. words. <laughs> oh, let's I'm gonna go. Pump, I'm going to pump dot net. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go. That's what this is. Pump it up. Maybe we, should, maybe we um, shouldn't be talking about this. <laughs> well, no, look, it, this is what this whole place is for. All right. So, um, this is not about pumping.net. That is why I gave a preface with guys. I wouldn't necessarily take action on what I'm about to say because, uh, you know, look, I can afford to go buy a couple hundred killer.net, put them in the portfolio and write it to zero. Right. But, um, this <laughs> is not a get rich quick by any stretch of your imagination. It takes, you probably need a couple hundred killer.nets to get one sale because they don't sell well. I, I have a great portfolio of .nets. Braden has a great portfolio of .nets. Uh, they don't sell well. They don't sell consistently, but they used to. And I have just a like a tickle in the back of my neck that says, the price has gotten low enough, the adoption has gotten low enough that usually, um, you know, the pendulum will start to swing back in the other way. But it might not at all. We might have gone straight through and now we've got all these other new TLDs and they're picking up the slack and they certainly have diluted, right? Because I've said this before. You cannot replace the number one, but you will have an infinite uh, amount of dilution for number two because it's always only as good as the next best alternative. And the next best alternative could be a .co or it could be a .io or it could be a .ai or it could be a dot .whatever, dot, you know, .care, dot what whatever it might be. And so there is a limit and uh, we are not in any way trying to pump .net. We have, uh, uh, we are just making an observation. I'm making an observation that I feel like we've probably hit the bottom, uh, but that might be exactly where we just keep falling. <laughs> so who knows? Yeah. Uh, I think that very... was a hell of a .net sale. Well done. Yeah, I it. think, look, uh, with any alternate extension, it's going to be very, very name and situation specific, you know, hard to, you know, kind of pin that down into a trend, um, except for the fact that, you know, I, I one thing I think that I always come across when you're talking about alternate extensions other than .com, the newer stuff, you still run into some friction trying to use those for your business, trying to transfer the shit to certain registrars, things like that. Like, you know, the nice thing about .NET is that it's as, you know, pretty much as call it, you know, flexible or malleable or usable as a .com, you know? So you're not going to run into email. Um, you know, we had Leanne on the show talking about email blacklisting and things like that. And, you know, when you think about other sort of functional aspects of a domain name, you know, just today I was trying to move a .io to a register, you know, transfer from one registrar to another and, you know, on all the dot nets dot orgs dot coms were easy dot io they're like you got to call us you know so it's like i mean that's a pain in the ass so um you know i think what register are you transferring into (laughs) hey it was hover actually (laughs) it was hover you know that wouldn't couldn't do the io like kind of quickly and easily you know all right no shout out to hover around here i know right and i know i thought the same thing well then i'm like (laughs) immediately regret all my life choices you know it's like (laughs) Based off of the inability to transfer one name, I'm like, ah, consolidating it now. This is, I may still have to keep a name, and that's all. No. Um, <laughs> shout out to that soul, though. Jay, once, a to- net, once a net soul guy, always a net soul guy. It's like, if I have yeah. a on, I want to do business with you. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to net soul, man. It's all good. Look. Oh, wow. If you want to, if you want to register that's never going to release your name, that's the way to go. Well, for the record, I was well, transferring. Well, for, for the record, they also have the highest rate of domain theft as far as I'm aware. That is an opinion. That is not a fact. But uh, 
Nice it just so okay. happens that as I'm out, you know, these days I'm not as active, but you know, when I was out, let's say let's say five between you know, between five to fifteen years ago, when I was literally every single day uh shaking the the domain tree, you know, banging on doors of end users trying to see, you know, if they had a domain that they didn't know what it was worth, um, doing, you know, uh, you know. Chasing hunting. down, you know, hunting unicorns. Um, uh, I would say, you know, one in every 50 to 100 names would end up being stolen or there was some controversy. There was something. And I'm telling you, it was, you know, near near 100% of those were always at Netsol. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why or you know, what have you, but. Uh, I, think it's it, I, know why, because, I know why because at the time they didn't have any kind of two-factor authentication yeah yeah it, it was social engineering they, they, yeah. these thieves and i think things have changed and, and, and so they have um that's well, all think think like, yeah 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 we those, implemented it, some things right back then right before we did I some left, stuff we did some it. stuff <laughs> no uh, they, but, they, but they have they have changed some systems i'm you know they, they still have a long ways to go but they have made improvements but it was really an issue that people could socially engineer their way into these Netsol accounts and, and get valuable names. And uh, and I saw it firsthand. I saw it happen. Uh, <laughs> uh, a and lot of times. Not, and that's where all the old names were. Well, yeah, that was good. That was the point I was going to make. As the oldest registrar, you know, they had a lot of names that were yeah, owned survivor by, bias, yeah, survivorship bias. Well, and also, you know, names owned by companies that were now defunct, and you know, people that were yep. now dead, and you know, things like that. People I that mean, were now defunct. People that were now defunct. People defunct businesses and companies and, that were uh, dead, which made them also ripe for uh, you know, sort of some issues and things. So I will say this also about Braid and Sale, real quick, because I feel like we should have mentioned it. One of the reasons why, without a doubt, why it sold quickly after he acquired it is because it came from Snap Names. It was likely at NetSol for 20 years under privacy, hard to get in touch with the owner, and there's some there's some pent up demand, right? So <laughs> he gets the name, he puts it up for sale. Suddenly, there's a yeah. landing page there saying 150k. Boom! Yeah. Someone sees it who's been looking for that domain for a while. They buy it. That's a great yeah. point, Josh. Fuck, man. Look at you. Yep. I'm Boom. glad I made yeah. that point before on this show. A, Almost that all that was right except the landing page. Original. Okay. Just took another Drew original. Sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm joking, man. But it, it's an excellent point. It's an excellent point that I've made before. Best point on the show. Made by Josh. Yeah. Um, on a great sale. Made by Braden. Hey, that should show. go on X when you're like advertising for the show. It could be me giving a rant. About how much I know about domains, as opposed to Drew. How about that? <laughs> I'm in. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Um, all right. Well, congratulations, Braden. Great stuff. Uh, super awesome. Uh, you know, coming on the uh, the tail of a pretty pretty awesome stretch for you too. So good stuff. All right, Drew. What Wait, you got? What you do you got mean? A... It's a ta- a tail of a stretch. No, I'm in the I'm in the beginning of it. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All good. All good. I just say, man. It is true. I mean, it hasn't it hasn't tailed off yet. So. Uh-uh. <laughs> I hope this continues. Keep going. Keep going. I hope Q4 crushes Q3. <laughs> there you go. I love it. I I I I think I'm 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 cautiously optimistic. I, I we might have a we might have a, 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 a you know a, there might be a bunker in the uh in the fairway between here and there, but uh yeah. I think uh I think Q4 will be um a lot of, lot of, lot of liquidity. Let's just say. The problem is, is that, and as individuals, it's hard for us to like make any kind of, have any kind of assessment unless you have tens or hundreds of thousands. Well, that's of it. You, you got to have a sufficient, you know, breadth of your portfolio to, you know, really have any macro correlation. Yeah, mm. that's um, fair. Otherwise, it's just you know, luck of the draw. Mm. anecdotal baby it's just anecdotal um all right Who's well got a name? Drew, it's on him by yourself all right. what are you so, going to do uh, i'm gonna well, change it, it up because i had one i was gonna do uh but i'm gonna do a different one now so i'm because gonna do it was that a dot net i was talking about. and you don't want to yeah. <laughs> no we're gonna keep we're gonna keep pumping dot net right now 
right. <laughs> nothing but net. Oh, nothing but dot net. That could be the new nothing title. but net. <laughs> nothing but net. That's so good. That's so good. <laughs> That is good. I like that. Uh, so, oh, yeah, I got to say the name, I guess. Science.net. Science. Science.net. Sal? Buy or no, purchase. Sell. Purchase. purchase. Science.net. I'm like, I think I, I don't know what we paid for this one. So. Ooh. So I get to participate. I don't know, Drew. You look awfully happy with yourself, bro. You got it cheap, <laughs> huh? You got it cheap, huh? I, I, I it might be cheap, might be expensive. I, I, I don't, you know, I don't know. All right, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Flip it. Oh, JT. Oh. <laughs> oh. I don't even know if we've ever had a tie like that before. Yeah, so Braden's at 5,000. Josh and I are both at 7,500 on the dot. Um, okay, so you wait. You, both of you are going to say, oh, we're going to go to Mon, take the over. So go back and type in a new number. Mm. Oh, I see what you're saying, because then somebody will like, depending. Okay, okay. Because the, the best option would be taking the over, so. Well, no, but forget it because uh, Braden got it. He, you nailed it. It was five grand. Oh well, then the Jews like fuck that noise. We're not going <laughs> to waste time. Yeah, fuck, We're fuck not going to waste that. time. Oh, <laughs> I feel like science. I feel like science and dot net go really well together. So, yeah. like, uh, yeah. yeah, that's awesome. That's it. I, I really like it. I think it goes together super, super well. Uh, it's uh, it's a name I had actually tried to acquire multiple times. Uh, the first time was for a client in two thousand. 15 or 16 and um uh now i will uh say that uh this was part of a bulk package that i purchased but you know i'm not playing any games it was literally alliterated this name this price this name this price this name this price so um five grand is what was allocated for that name (laughs) um um and I think it was a steal. I, I love that name. I mean, science.org is um, uh, the American Academy of Sciences. Uh, it's one of the highest ranked uh, websites in the world from a you know domain rating score. Um, and uh, I think science.net is I, you know almost equally as good as science.org. I would almost never say that in other contexts, but um you know science.org I'll, I'll probably give a little leg up but science.net is is also you know it's a science network like that's kind of yeah. awesome kind of yeah. awesome um so um anyways yeah and really that's and that's it. retail like that's a minimum fifty thousand dollar name all day long i mean i okay. price it higher than that but i'm saying fifty thousand me too me too Easy. because it's an it's one of those names it's like I don't know. I couldn't even imagine utilizing it in some capacity in the future and, uh, you know, nope. putting it into a foundation, you know, whatever it might be. Uh, and so, I, Drew's been saying that show a lot name like that. Yes, right. That's well, what I'm saying. Like, said it so much recently. He said Drew it was anti development, but lately it's like <laughs> every name we talk about, it's like, oh, you know, we could probably do something like this. I'm like, who well, are you, but bro? To be like, fair, what, what's going it ain't on? Gonna be, these fingers are never going to develop shit, right? So it's, <laughs> you know, can I finger, <laughs> can I, can I find somebody who can, who, who... can you finger what? Can you finger somebody? What is going on, though? <laughs> what are we this talking about? Gone so far off the rails. Um, <laughs> you know, it's okay. Uh, um, uh, anyway, but yeah, yeah. So we we <laughs> we getting outside our comfort zone for sure. Um, <laughs> hey, Josh, you got a so... name? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Josh, you got a buyer or sell? What's up? What's up? All right, I'll do a dot net too. I was serious. Nothing uh, but net, baby. Nothing right. but net. net. A sell. All right. Um, we are not going to be able to get dot nets anymore. <laughs> no, yeah, this is it. We're just changing the I game. I know. This is it. Yeah, we need to go hard. The next 48 <laughs> hours, just buy all the nets in the market because they're going to be <laughs> they're done. Uh, I I just sold uh, vibes.net. Vibes. Ooh. 
That was also a recent pickup. That was within the, the last year. So I recently picked it up, and then I also recently sold it on a payment plan, and they defaulted. It was 12 months. They defaulted after two payments, and then I just sold it again. <laughs> oh, nice. Look at you, man. The gift that keeps on giving. Buy yeah, we, we just we did the same thing on um on uh hush hush dot com hush, yeah. we had hush hush dot com sold great price uh they made i don't know three four five six payments no they they paid like eight months and then they went they they walked yeah. away and then i think it's even the same buyer it's a different guy but i think it's a related entity came back Bought it again for more than the original price, and start paying again. No, so, yeah. Well, let's see what's good on the second time around. What are we doing? Let's go. Oh, all right, hold up, hold up, hold on. He sold vibes dot net. Vibes dot net. Vibes. 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 All right. All right. Okay. All right. All right, three, two, one. Let's flip it. All right, so on the high side. So Brayton's five thousand eight hundred eighty-eight dollars. Drew is nine thousand eight hundred ninety-five dollars, and I'm at thirty thousand dollars. So, uh, so the first time I sold it earlier this year was on twelve. It was twelve payments at thirty-seven thousand eight hundred eighty-eight. What? Whoa! Hold on, hold on. Hold on. That, they they, yeah, they two... defaulted on that shit. And then I raised the price to 50 and someone just bought it for 50 over six payments. So I got, the, I got the first payment. I don't, I'm not doing more than six payments anymore. So Yo. 50, 50 over Yo. 50. Forget about everything I said about the uh, pumping the dot net market. The shit is on fire. The bottom's in. You know, let's go wild. Yeah, I never would have priced that that high. Yo, wow. I feel like I did the dunk, I feel like arm dot, inside I feel the like net. Dot net get it? I feel like net, dot net making you know a saying? comeback in the domain industry is like almost like uh it's like almost like a I don't know, like a like it's a it's a sign of something, you know what I mean? It's definitely yeah, it's like, it's like the NF, it's all like the, the vibes. It's like the, like the coming of the NFT market or something. We're going to we're going to take this we're going to take this whole episode and put it on the, the show. Dot net, yeah, we're, not to, we're not going to be able to buy dot nets anymore. .net for the culture. .net for the culture. The .net yacht club. But I, uh, like I said, that was the dunk with the hand in the net. So it's a. Uh, I mean, I'll tell you what, work. Like, yeah. I it mean, worked, that was kind of funny, you know. Almost like you know, it's like a little, little round the horn. Like, oh, yeah, I've been doing a little work in some .net. Oh yeah, me too. I did a little work in some .net. It's like a little work I got going on over here in the dot I net. Thought you know I thought I mean? he's like, yeah, I have a little sale, a little dot net sale. Yeah, cool, yeah, I mean. yeah. All right. Well, so here's where we Pull are then. On fitty the... out, pulling a fitty out on a on a very, I mean, vibes dot net. I would never have the audacity to price that at fifty grand to be honest. It's a good SLD. That's a good. All name. my dot like nets, it. price of a brick going up. Well, and vibes is a relatively current, common kind of cool term. Super I mean, vibes current. is a thing. Vibes is like you know. Vibes is the vibe. We own goodvibe.com. Yeah. All right. So yeah, here's I, the com. I think so here's the thing. Go ahead. Bro, Go ahead, goodvibe.com is 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 underpriced, Drew. How much is it priced at? Ninety-nine thousand. It's underpriced. I price that. It's singular. It's singular. It's still good fun, good vibe. Bro, there's a lot of companies that are using that brand. It's taking in over a hundred TLDs. Price that shit at two fifty. Mm. Weren't, weren't you gonna? Weren't you gonna go in and uh, 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 reprice my portfolio? Wasn't that something that's, you? That's on me. Didn't, J, on me. didn't JT arrange that? I did. We you talked about take, it. I got to send him a take list. Take you out to dinner. Pay for dinner. Give you a little kiss <laughs> on the cheek. You know what I'm saying? You were gonna give me a little portfolio pricing. Wait. Right it, wait. Wait, is Media Options paying for these dinners, JT, or is it you, Bob? I well, need it's know. technically technically it's it's me, but you know, Drew will take credit. You know what I'm saying? He's like, he's like, <laughs> you can. Good. I think you could expense that dinner. Yeah, well, I expense <laughs> it on my side. I not to the company. You know what I'm saying? Um, but anyway, um, all right. Well, look, 
dope. Here's where we are, though, from a competition standpoint. I've got a point. Braden's got a point, and I believe Josh has a point. So right now we got a three way tie. And Drew, do you have a .net buy or sell? We got to keep it .net. Like we gotta, you got anything .net all the time. We got to do nothing but net. Otherwise, all right, nothing but net. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got. I'm sure I got something. All right, all right, I got one. All right, you had should I do a buy or a sell? Sell to you, man. No. <clears throat> yes. Beam. All right. Uh, I. B L dot net. I B L dot net. And that's a sale. Yep. Jesus. That's a tough one. That's a really tough one. <clears throat> I think I'm kind of out on this one. I, I don't know. I don't remember exactly what we sold it for, but I'll, I'll let it. I'll let this one go between Braden and Josh for the championship because I, I have a general idea. So. And you have all the swag. Sitting in your house anyway. <laughs> exactly. But I still want to win. You know what I'm saying? It's still just a competition I, piece I, I of it. You, I'm like, I fuck, you. I gotta I want to take the victory lap. All right, let's get it. I like what you're doing, Josh. I like the reveal up top. All right, boom. Let's go, Braden. Okay. Flip it. Ooh. I can't see right. what Josh has. Braden's at fifteen thousand five hundred. Josh. Oh, Basically, 15. he yeah, he's the over, you're the under. Fifteen eight eight. Under wins. The under wins. Brady under. wins. Brady so, with the win. Uh, Again. It was, I, sold, I sold it for, sold it for $98.95. And uh, it's an interesting one. I think I, I might have actually already talked about this on the show. But um, we sold IBL.com for $280,000. And then uh, in, in like a brokered transaction. And then... I forgot we even had IBL.net to go with it, and it had a bin price of ninety eight ninety five on Afternick, and somebody just came in, and I'm sure I'm probably the same buyer. I'm sure. Um, you did up. Let's see. Yeah, they just grabbed it at ninety eight ninety five uh, to go with their dot com. Oh, actually, they, yes, doesn't even still on the Afternick lander. That's weird. Let's see who bought the dot com. That's also on the Afternick lander. It is the weirdest thing. Domains are so weird. I, I we've said this a million times, but it's like <laughs> you sell domains for hundreds of thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars, millions of dollars. It's never resolved. It's the weirdest yeah. thing. If I bought something, I don't know, like it's like buying a Ferrari and then just like Leave sticking it in a garage in Nebraska and never looking at it. It's the weirdest thing. I, I same. Same, same. I had the same experience. I, I last last summer a year ago, I sold fiasco.com. I, I never look up. I sell a name. I never look it up unless it comes up in conversation or something. But I sold fiasco, and everybody's like, What are people gonna use fiasco for? I'm like, I, I don't know. It still doesn't resolve. And and it's been it's literally a 404 page. It's uh, it's been over a year. And and th- yeah. that was um that was over two hundred thousand dollars that that purchase yeah. on a bid. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I love it, man. To me, it it's was, cool. You know, well, it's like back in the that day. was so, just for fun. I'm going to tell you the other .dot net that I was going to talk about. That's a buy, not a sell. Uh, and it's Teladoc. 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 Teladoc .dot net. So nice. Telephone Doctor Network. Teladoc. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> Two grand. What do you think I paid for that? Two grand. Uh, no, I think I think you you got it cheap. I think you got it for a few hundred dollars. Yeah, hundred and fifty bucks. Yeah. Uh Tele like Teladoc is a big deal. We we sold um did we sell teledoc.com? What did we sell? For telehealth? I thought it was telehealth. What did we sell? I was gonna say. Did we sell telehealth? Pretty sure now I got to go into the thing. Or Teladoc. I don't know. We sold one of those key terms there in that field uh, for a lot, a lot of money. Um, yeah. And uh, I, I don't know. Teladoc. For, do, do Teladoc. I get to get that too? Yeah, you got the cherry. Right. <laughs> JT, JT will, JT will uh, 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 sign the inside of the sweatshirt that he doesn't send you. <laughs> It's not oh, coming. Gosh. It's definitely not coming. 
Dude, come on, <laughs> man. You're already wearing a sweatshirt. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's all good. So interesting. Teladoc.com forwards to teladochelp.com spelled with an A instead of the correct E, which is super weird. I mean, Teladoc would be T-E-L-E, right? It's telephone, not tell, teller. Oh, Teladoc help looks like they were smart and got all versions, but only after being dumb and coming up with such a stupid brand. Hmm. Interesting. It is interesting, but good stuff. All right, so Braden with the win. We'll hook it up. Braden, we'll get you some, some. I got to decide. You know, we got to see what kind of sweat. What do you get the guy who has everything? You know what I'm saying? So it's. I don't uh, have. I don't have that hoodie. What you got on right now? Okay, well we can make that happen. These are, you know. Yeah, look at all these end users. Teladoc dot everything you could possibly imagine. There's a Teladoc dot that. Hello, that. You know, that's the thing about you. Got to know what you're doing. Right. Like you, you know, you, you have the advantage of having these big, uh, dot com sales. Right. So, so you, you, you already have some insight into, into certain industries because of these sales, but there's a lot of these sleepers that people miss yep. the turn of extensions or they miss, they miss industry terms. Um, you know, I, I once sold, um, many years ago, like 12 years ago, I sold ERP suite.com. Yep. Like, you know, most people wouldn't know what that was, but I know what ERP is, and you know, it's a suite, a software suite. And uh, I sold it for like sixty-eight and a half thousand dollars, and after picking it up for like eight hundred. Yeah. Um. You know, today those are when people talk about arbitrage. That is the arbitrage opportunity, not not in traffic, but the arbitrage opportunity in in domain values is it's knowledge, it's knowledge arbitrage. Knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why when people say, well, you know, where should I start? I say, start within your industry, you know, pick up those yeah. terms within the industry that other people don't know. Cause that's your advantage. Yep. Well, and I think that's, I mean, when you hear about a lot of domainers origin stories, it's kind of where it starts. I mean, and even drew Birko ham story was kind of like a sort of business related type of thing that led him down the path that then expanded into you know, where we are now, you know, based on some familiarity. I mean, a lot of times when we talk to domain sellers, you know, people that are selling big names, it's like, oh, I registered this name years ago for a business or a business idea that didn't pan out. And, you know, even with the older folks that have like, I don't know, by older, I just mean they've owned domains for a long, long time with some really like super premium stuff where and they don't have a big domain portfolio, but they might have one or two killer names that they've owned for 20 years. It's like some one word dot com. Because they bought it for a business, right? And, uh, you know, for actual use that then eventually you know, they're selling for now hundreds of thousands of dollars and in some cases more money than they ever made off of the business. So, you know, I do think the familiarity of, of, of trends and popular usable type things, um, you know, obviously like it you know, lends itself into to, to domain sales and stuff. So, yeah, well, interesting stuff. Guys. Curiosity. All good- it's all about curiosity. The more things that you're curious about, the more you read, the more rabbit holes you go down, the more esoteric subjects, esoteric subjects you engage with and read about or listen about or whatever it might be, just the more corners of the world that you touch, the more, let's say, luck you're going to have with finding these types of arbitrage opportunities. I mean, I'm just looking at Crunchbase right now at Teladoc. I'm telling you, I bought, I bought that domain for $151 on a GoDaddy auction like a week ago, two weeks ago. And um, I guarantee you that I will sell that domain name because I'm going to go tell Chris to go contact some of these people. I guarantee you that even on an outbound sale where we don't have as much leverage as when somebody comes to us, right? I, or any of you, uh, you always have more leverage on price when the buyer's coming to you versus going to them, right? But even so, I guarantee you, I'll get twenty five to thirty five thousand dollars like this. I bet you within thirty days, I've got a buyer at twenty five to thirty five. Probably price it at fifty, and we might even get lucky and get fifty because there might be more than one buyer. You've got a Teladoc Singapore, Teladoc Philippines, Teladoc Argentina, Teladoc Brazil, Teladoc USA, Teladoc Help. Teladoc, it goes up, about, 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 and that's what you want. That's what you want. Uh, so. .net for the culture. 
Dinette for the culture. Domainer till the end. Tell the doc, bitch. Um, <laughs> won't change for no paper. Plus, I've been rich. It's, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't really, it just, it just, you know, just kind of, that just happened. But <laughs> it's good stuff either way, man. It's good stuff. Yeah. Nothing but net. Good news, right. The good news is that you can be uh, unburdened of what has been by, uh, wait, how does that go? You can be unburdened by what has been, by what will be. I, I don't okay. even know. I can't. I just, just yeah. It sounds like smart. I'm not. Sounds, I'm not as smart as uh, Amal Harris. She's got. She's just got wisdom that allows her to say that kind of thing. Oh, okay. We're going political. That's cool. We're going political. Well, no, 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 no. It's you know. It's, it's, it's talk about wisdom. It's just, you know. You can be unburdened by what has been. Yeah. Um, by what will be. You know what I'm saying. By what will be. A word salad for a thousand, Jim. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <Word thousand. laughs> it's all good. Alex? You know all right, saying? let's go. Keep it moving. Um, all right. Yeah. So that's the domain game. Congratulations, Braden. Coming back strong with big win, big sales. It's all good. Hey, a series hey, of I've been training. Events. I've been training hard. I've been that's looking for just it. been in the gym. In the gym. You ain't even been in the gym with us shooting. Um, but no, great stuff. Media Options is the industry's leading domain broker specializing in domain acquisitions, high value domain sales, and domain name consultation. As pioneers and thought leaders on the subject of the domain aftermarket and domain name value, plus through their clear domain acquisition service, Media Options offers startups and established corporations an unparalleled scope of high value domain options, providing access to domain names and curation technologies not available elsewhere. Media Options believes in the power of a great domain name and is dedicated to helping you obtain yours. Call or email today to put a domain to work for you. All right, well, let's get into name checking and jet. As you all know, this session, section, segment, whatever you want to call it, sponsored by NameJet. We go through a list of domains coming up for auction. We see what the Sherpas like, what they don't like. Uh, if it helps, you could go to the uh, the post on the Domain Sherpa website, and you can pull an Excel spreadsheet that has the list of domains that we talk about, along with things like the estimate appraisal. Take those with a grain of salt. How many back orders as of the time we record the show, what the order by date is, in order to make sure that you got your back order in so you can more easily follow and participate in the auction, along with some additional data links all that good stuff so hopefully that helps get your auction on and uh let's go through the list of stuff today and uh let's start with josh let's start with you bro and see what you like or what you don't like um i think we got about 14 names on the list today this is the one with okay playpool.com i like that name uh is it playpool or playpool well, exactly. That's, you know, that's what I thought when I looked at it. I thought it was actually pretty cool because, you know, you, obviously, I think the value that you see. Hey, hey, um, hey, JT. Here comes Polly. <laughs> Josh, hey, Polly Josh has Pete the floor Davidson. right now. <laughs> so, all right, fine. <laughs> he's talking about what he likes. I know, but I think it's a good point, nope. what he's about to say. I let, knew yeah, what he was oh, going to say. I wanted oh, to say it. What he's about to say it. is a good point. Well, let him make it then. Fine, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> say it. Say it. <laughs> yeah, so... I mean, well, it I, think mo- I, I think most people probably think of like playing pool, like billiards or whatever. Um, but that's probably not really where the value is. The value is more in the it being a brand uh, or like a play pool is also like a place where you where you can like you play. Right. It's like a one word. It's like a play pool. Like a kid. But yeah, except that we call that a kiddie pool. Yeah. Yeah, which is fine as well. There's, there's still that's still a valuable, sure. A valuable term. So, um, I think it's well, also- and it sounds like play school, you know, and uh, you know, or something like I don't know if is that a brand, but I think yeah, the idea yeah. of a play pool is like a thing. I gotta say, I gotta say what I've been. It is at Pete see. Diddy's house. <laughs> oh yeah, speaking of Pete Diddy, man, he just got arrested. You know what I'm saying? So thank God. Take that! Take that! Take that! <laughs> if you type in, if you type in play. Play pool meaning. First thing that comes up is Urban Dictionary. Euphemism for participating in an orgy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't is know. That Ur- that's that- Urban Dictionary? Yeah. Yo, the way you, did you say orgy? <laughs> orgy. No, I, orgy. I, thought that was called, I thought that was called the cuddle pool. Or no, is that it? <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it got yeah, famous that- a few years ago. A few years ago <laughs> in Silicon Valley, it got famous. The, the cuddle puddle. No, cuddle puddle. Cuddle puddle. There's still a thing. Yeah, cuddle puddle. 
is oh yeah i don't know what you i don't see any of that on my browser i google it and i get like literally things related to playing billiards you know that's a lot of the, like, the entire description is interesting you know what i'll tell you what's interesting is so you're saying it's a great name <laughs> Na- okay. Napa NAPA North American Pool Shooters Association uses playpool.io. Ooh, yeah, yeah, I saw that. Oh, wow. Which is a terrible extension for that for an association. I wouldn't use an IO for, but they should upgrade to .com. Well, and and also the fir- the big domain that they have advertised on the homepage is poolshooters.com. <laughs> It's funny. You go to playpool.io and the first thing you see is poolshooters.com. Yeah, that's yeah. that's yeah. random. <laughs> All right. Well, so, uh, it, it, you know, this part is kind of over, so I'll talk about it. But we had a lot of clients over the last few years that uh I think this is may may or may not be the case. You know, don't don't sue me. But um it seemed to be a trend that a lot of really competitive spaces, the sort of uh, magic trick for SEO was to basically start your own foundation or institute or association. And then mm. you're now the, I don't know. Uh, authority. Okay, let's talk. Yeah. You're now the authority, right? And so you can now have a non-commercial website that, is authoritative and people link to gladly because it has authoritative information that is non-commercial and seemingly unbiased. And so you can get all the people in the industry and start linking back to it. You don't even have to ask them for money. You just start sending them articles that might be useful. And you tell them, oh, you can share this article. Just give us a link back. No problem. And so you publish all this high value content. You share it with all these people and you let them pull snippets or you know, use your media or use, you know, whatever value you've created, you let them use it for free. And then they link back to you. And that creates a lot of high authority. Then you can then use it. And this is a long game. This is not an overnight, you know, get rich quick scheme. And, uh, and then you can utilize that, you know, uh, uh, domain authority uh, to then link out to commercial properties that you own. Right. And so um, we saw a lot of that over, let's say, the last five, seven years. But it seems to be that with Google's latest update, that that part is over. So um, my guess is if if you go to that .io and it's immediately linking out to this other site, it's probably something like that. Mm. Yeah, probably. It's the same website <clears throat> on, pool shoot, on poolshooters.com and, and playpool.io. But I did that so with just stupid. companies <clears throat> years ago. Ignition Interlock, uh, my Ignition Interlock business. I had my my uh, like company website, and then I had ignitioninterlock.com, which was a, a national directory. And then yep. I had I created like National Association of Interlock Providers or something like that. Like, and I was I used like the acronym on a .dot org, and it, you know it looked like an association. It it yep. to- totally was not, but it it looked like it. Yep, yep, and it's it I. Can- Say firsthand, extremely effective. At least it yeah, was. It worked. This is like 15 years yeah. ago. Yeah. 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 Um, all, all right. right. Well, Where that's cool. We? Um, all right, Josh. What else? So that's playpool.com. And uh, that is also an interesting sort of factoid. Oh, thanks, guys. Yeah. I like um, I like naughty.com and a U T I. Okay. Oh, uh, we know where we know where Josh, Josh's mind is at today. Mm-hmm. Play that pool and not tea. It's an orgy. It's in <laughs> that one. A, that one orgy. is like I feel like that's like a shortener for like nautilus. Is that right? The right word? Yeah, nautical. Yeah, well, it, not nautical. Think, yeah. Well, nauticom or something. I think is also like you know as it plays out across. Did know, I make up? Did I make up nautilus? Is that a name? No, that's kind no, of nautilus, what I thought. Nautilus some... is a name. Nautilus. A nautilus is a a a, a, sh- a, a bivalve. It's a it's a right, it's a right, mollusk. Yeah. It's a mollusk. It's um. It's like a squid with a shell, kind of. Right, 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 right. Yeah. So except, I like that name. I feel like except, that's a good. Except, well, and right. naughty, you know. So there's naughty beach. There's so there's a drink, um, naughty, uh, n a u t i. You know, there's a there's clothing. There's a flip uh, sandals or you know, handcrafted. Yeah, sandals but it's or, that's all not that's all nautical. It's all it's all water related. Oh yeah, yeah. Everything flows yeah. off of the nautical nautical theme. Yeah, that's kind of what I mean. Short for nautical. And pun I think intended. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. Pun intended. 
Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I like those those names. I mean, I like some of the dot orgs as well. Um, what about the dot nets, man? Remember, this is nothing but net. What do you think about the dot nets? I'm actually yeah. adding in the chat two more dot nets that I'm going to include on the list that aren't on there, but they're in the. Uh, I wouldn't. Uh, I personally wouldn't wouldn't touch any of the dot nets. <laughs> what wait? What was wait? What was uh, Mark uh, Cuban's business? Was that Broadcast.com? Was or it was Broadcast.com. Broadcast. Yeah. That was broadcast. Broadcom? I'm... No, I thought it was broadcasting.com. Yeah, it was broadcast yeah. or broadcasting. One or the other. I, I I won't be bidding on any of the dot net. It's like actually legitly. I just broadcast and dot net. Yeah, net. Cuban's thing was broadcast.com. It's what broadcast. he bought and then sold okay. five billion or six billion. So but those are the back, couple of the dot nets. Back when that was back when that was real money. Yeah, broadcast. <laughs> In so, 1999, 5.7 billion. In 1999. Oh, shout out to Mark. Yeah. years ago. Oof. Yeah, but I'll tell you what. That's like d- double uh, today, by the way. That's like $12 yeah. billion dollars in today's dollars. Just FYI. Well, it should be, but Mark, um, you know, hats off. That was an absolutely amazing and at the time unprecedented sale. Um, unfortunately, he literally hasn't done a goddamn thing since then, except for the Dallas Mavericks, which turned out to be a great investment. But I don't think he's done anything that was of any material value since then. If if you made seven billion dollars in what was it ninety what ninety nine yeah ninety nine I mean you know listen you should have turned that you should be sitting on at least. 25 to 50 billion today easily easily i mean he's done shark tank and he did you know and i, I would Wait, think well, he, yeah he did shark tank he got paid some salary to be on shark tank great no 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 but he did, I'm a, bunch just of, saying, he did a bunch of loser deals in shark tank i'm out but hold on he's he so they bought the mavs for 285 million dollars and then now the the value is probably another three and a half billion dollars no, that's what I'm saying. He he did an amazing investment with the Mavs. Outside of that, I don't think he's done anything material whatsoever. I guess my point is is that he Who made cares? he made six billion <laughs> at first, and then he did it flipped another two hundred and eighty million. Well, I, I care just because like, I think he's how much flipping. I think Mark Cuban is do? very flippant and arrogant, and I don't think he's actually that intelligent. I listened to a long interview with him last week, and I was just like, I was really trying. I was just like, I don't know, man. I don't think he's that smart, actually. Like, he has to be because you literally cannot make. You can, you can make a million dollars, make $10 million, and not be that smart. You, can, you might be able to make like $25 million, $50 million. Not be that smart. But you don't make a billion dollars without being smart. You just it's, can't. It's almost, but, 11, it's almost $11 billion in today's dollars. He doesn't have to do anything. With eleven. Million. My point is, is that he had more than one win, right? He had the broadcast.com win. Then he sold his that share of the Mavs that he bought for two hundred some million for three point whatever billion. I mean, that's ten billion dollars of, of you know, sort of. I guess you're not listening. Repeat. I mean, the only am thing I? he's done with his life since then is investing in the Mavs. Everything else was a loser. Everything else. He had a company called uh, uh, Cyberdust. He had some other company. He had a whole bunch of things he's done. Whole bunch. Every single one of them was a failure. And what I don't like is that he's out there hyping off, telling, you know, like, oh, Elon Musk, oh, he's not that great. You know, shut the up. Are you out of your oh, mind, okay, Mark? That's a, you freaking dump. You're like, a, you're, like a dump. you're like a dump. You're like the dump somebody forgot to flush. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo. Oh, okay. Okay. You know, a name that I'm going to add to the list since it's available on Namejet in expiry is Petty.net. We're gonna go with petty. <laughs> We're gonna add petty. No, but I, I really, you know, I, I, I really. Oh, come on, guys. That was I'm good. so sick of armchair quarterbacks and 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 especially the ones that are calling out people that are really productive members of human society, and um, and I think he's really uh, obnoxious, uh, and I think he's owned. Somebody owns his ass because, yeah, I don't know. I can't explain it, but somebody owns his ass. 
Somebody does. Well, it is interesting. He has definitely become sort of this, like, you know, he's the billionaire um, sort of across the side. from you know, He's you a Elon. hypocrite. He speaks out of both sides. Well, if we're talking mouth. on the po- political piece, right? You know, you've got Elon and then the Peter. No, Thiel's I'm not even talking and... politics. I'm actually specifically not talking politics. I'm talking business. All right. Well, I mean, I think uh, it's interesting. I, You know, it's funny. I don't watch a whole lot of Shark Tank. Um, you know, I've seen a couple episodes. And I'm sure there's a whole list of stuff and, and, you know, companies and, you know, some wins, lots of losers. I mean, those are kind of intended, you know, there's almost like Y Combinator, right? They're not all supposed to succeed. There's going to be a whole lot of. Failures. No, but I, 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 I don't think, I don't know, I watched some documentary about it and, and I think there was like one company in all the episodes of Shark Tank, one company that they actually put money into that actually succeeded. Yeah, that I mean, I'm sure that's even available out there, and and you know they're probably it should. Be I'm sure there. it is. I'm sure it is. Um, but yeah. But, so, all right, anyways, well, all I'm saying is Mark Cuban is overrated. Uh, you know, so here here's interesting. I'm just looking on Forbes yeah. for for this year. So he sold his company for what we say five point seven. Is that, yeah. is that what it was? Three? No, three point one. No, 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 no. Oh, no. five point seven and ninety nine. Yeah. Yeah. So he, you know he's so which is eleven about eleven billion in today's dollars. Today he's yeah. worth five point four. Huh. Yeah, with three point one of which he just got for selling his share of the maps. But but he's he's worth less than half of what. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's useless. He's a he's a he's a. Uh, 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 well, look, he, he, uh, he he paid is, a lot of taxes. So he paid a lot of taxes, uh, but still yeah. less than what he sold. Yeah, for. fine. Okay, but he 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 is a human embodiment of the misallocation of resources. The company that he sold was absolutely worthless, and it, it, it I know it was worthless. It's not just hyperbole because it literally was sold, and then when they got it, they they opened it up and they went, "Oh, steaming pile of shit!" and they literally shuttered it and rolled it into the business, and that was it. End of story. It literally never went on to do anything. You can read the story of Broadcast.com. It is a it, it, it got sold and then it was a, the dead dog. It was like, oh, look at the dead dog we bought when we put it in our backyard. And, you know, it's so anyway. So anyways, I would put it this way. I think Mark Cuban got very lucky and hats off to him. Anybody that gets 5.1 billion, 5.7, hats off. Well done. You did something right. Uh, you know, but uh, uh, as far as I'm concerned, as far as I can tell, you know, he's like somebody that won the lottery, and then a few years later, you check in, and all the money's gone. Well, except that he happened to make one to, good investment into, on into, into, into credit, the Mavericks, and the Mavericks. Well, sports teams in general happen to be, and particularly NBA, happen to be this basically the single greatest investment you could have made, other than ultra premium dot com domain names and Bitcoin over the last fifteen years. And so uh, he got lucky in that sense. So but, hold on a second. I don't think he's saying, done a single Mark, productive Mark, thing Mark, since that show, since that sale. Mark is not my favorite person in the world, but he uh, he did do some good things. Like he, like the money that he got from that sale, he wouldn't have got nearly that much if he didn't do. I mean, he had one of the greatest hedges of all time in the stock market, didn't he? That was the reason why he was able to extract so much out of the options, the stock options that he was given mm-hmm. by by Yahoo, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. because it was right around the dot com bubble when it crashed. So he mm-hmm. actually made more money because of his short position than because of his uh, long position. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Interesting. So you're saying that not only is he useless, but he's also a parasite. Wow. Right. <laughs> wow! Whatever he did, yeah, man, whatever he did, was... we go. We you know, like I said, gloves is off. You know, we dip in the, the hands in the. I don't. Glass, I don't. Like... He's just one of those. No, no. I, I you know, look. I, I, I generally, I, I try not to like talk about people that I don't know. I, I have no relationship to Mark Cuban. I've never spoke. I exchanged a few emails with him. He just is somebody that bothers me. Every time I hear him speak, he bothers me. When I look at his face, I can see he's not a sincere, honest person. He's not. I just don't like him. I don't like him, and I don't like the fact that he's supposed to be like a a a, 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 a meaningful, yeah, I yeah. Yeah, I you know, person to listen to for anything. I don't think he's done anything worth listening to. 
Um, well, speaking of people that are worth listening to, Raiden, what do you think of the list? Well, right. Since... <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I feel uh, you, Drew. I do feel so you. So I like uh, I like Fragment dot org. Mm. Um, I just because Fragment I think is a great SLD. Um, and I think it'll hold on door, dot org. Now it's not it's not going to be a high value name, but I mean, what's Fragment dot com worth, right? And take five percent of that, and that's what the Fragment dot org is worth. Um, we talked about Naughty uh, Optics dot net. I think Optics is a is a decent SLD. Uh, op- uh, it's on the dot net again, it's not it's not high value, but it's not worthless. It's just it's just worth less. It's worth less, baby. You got to use your tagline. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, I like that. Uh, hydra- hydration dot org. Uh, that's what I got, and it's not it's not the best list. So now, like back to the example we were talking about before, if I was like Gatorade, you know, I'd buy something like a hydration.org and I'd, you know, I'd, I'd start the Hydration Institute, you know, and I have a collection of all of the research that's done, been done on optimizing hydration, and, you know, have all these studies and 100%. You know, yeah. yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, I think that's a really interesting, cool approach. You know, and uh, I thought that was that was that was a good good, good nugget. Um, all right, so so that's what about you, Drew? Let's go ahead and clean up on the list, and then we're actually getting close. Yeah, to I mean, list. you know, I we I, I I also I really like the naughty. Um, I, I I just think that's a really cool abbreviation. I think it's got lots of utility, and uh, I like the um, I like the playfulness of it. Um, I also like optics.net because that's just a big business. Uh, you know, whether it's uh, optical lasers or whether it's glasses, sunglasses, there's um, there's just a lot, you know, you're talking about, oh, how many end users are there for optics.net? Well, I mean, it depends on the price range you're looking for, but if you're in the, let's say, ten to $25,000 range, uh, or let's say five to $15,000 range, there's literally, I bet you there are, 20, 30, 50,000 end users in the world for optics.net. If you're in the 15 to 25, you know, maybe there's like 5,000. If you're in the 25 and above, you know, maybe there's a few hundred, but there are legitimate, serious numbers of end users for optics.net. It's just such a big business. Um, uh, it's also other potential use cases and meanings for optics uh, optical networks are actually a thing uh optical circuits so uh i i don't know i think that uh i i, I like that name a lot um i also like step in um i just that's a cool brand step in the ring step yeah, in the name. arena step in is 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 step in could be like a new fitness program uh, I I don't know. Step in is a is it's just a cool brand. I really like it. Uh, I think that it's just one of those names you go, oh yeah, I know. I, I'm gonna end up selling that name pretty quickly. Um, now, I don't want to own it for like some crazy price, but you know, if I can get step in for two grand or less or something, twenty five hundred bucks, I think I think you're in the money. There's a bunch of companies called Step In. Uh, but yeah, step in is one of my favorites on the list as well. I thought that that was a standout. Yeah, I mean, the only thing the only thing that turns me off to step in at all doesn't it t- turn me off is the wrong word, but turn me down. Let's say is that uh, I think step up is even better. Mm-hmm. Step up is a step above step in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, how's that for a word salad? <laughs> no, but it's actually, but it's true. It actually made what you said made sense, though. You know, from on, very- on LinkedIn, it's it's two to one. So there's there, more than that. So there's about uh, 400 companies called Step In on LinkedIn and mm-hmm. a thousand called Step Up. Yeah. Okay. So with that type of 500 companies on LinkedIn, though, what do you think, Brayden? Is that you know a meaningful number when you're looking at it's, companies in branding? It's meaningful enough. Is it? It's the dot com. Yeah. So it's dot com. So yeah. I, look, I, you know, it's not it's not super high value, but if that if that was a sub twenty thousand dollar retail name, I think it's an easy sell with with four hundred companies that are using that name that are using 
uh, a version that's not as good as stepin.com for sure. All yeah. Right. I like it. All right, Drew, anything else? Like any, any last ones you want to mention before we, uh, the only other one I highlighted here was ultra wealth. Um, you know, I, I, I think that, um, you know, unfortunately, um, regardless of who becomes the president, um, we're going to see um, a widening of the wealth gap. And uh, I think things are going to get very difficult for the middle class. And I think uh, the people in the upper class are going to make, especially the ultra rich, the ultra wealthy, are going to make uh, more money than ever before. Uh, just because that's the way that this works with uh, the government printing money and increasing spending. So um, I think that uh, marketing to the ultra wealthy is a winning prospect. Uh, There is an increasing number of these sort of uh, retail driven ultra high net worth, ultra wealthy uh, marketing businesses that I've seen popping up and um, I suspect that's continue and you know ultrawealth.com is a pretty cool brand um, I think it's actually better than ultra wealthy um, yeah agreed uh, particularly at resonating with that market and so I, I think it's cool I think ultrawealth.com is an interesting brand that could be utilized for you know whether it was um, money management wealth management uh, state planning uh, you know uh, luxury toys charters you know the whole bunch of services that could be Some, provided something to related to like wealthy. something related to like family offices like services yep also yep or totally or like That's exactly right something like a coaching um or yep. also like, some multi-level marketing scheme something like that yep yeah yep ah, i dig it all right, cool. Well, look, we we covered a lot of ground on the on the list. I know Josh has got to go. In fact, he's lacing up his his kicks right now as he's running out the door. Yeah, I got to run. I I enjoyed chatting with you guys. Oh, dude, as How always, you man. Thank you, you so much. Uh, the train. I've got pickleball practice. Yeah, uh, <laughs> pickleball practice. Let's nothing. Get it. Hopefully, hopefully, it's not nothing but net, but. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> exactly. Not nothing but net. Um, all right. Well, listen, Josh, thank you so much, man. Since you got to go and we're over time anyway, we're going to wrap it up right now. Um, if uh, you, but you can go ahead and drop. I'm going to give these guys at least an opportunity to say something. You got anything to say on your way out? I guess not. He says, peace no. out. <laughs> so right. Yeah. All right. Well, um, I, Braden, what about you, man? What else you got? You got anything else before we shut it down? Um, I don't know, man. I'm glad it, in LA it finally cooled off. It was so hot here. And uh, I was walking the dogs last night, and it was it was actually chilly. I was like, "Oh, thank God!" I ran into a neighbor. She's like, "It's so nice that it's cold now." Yeah, my yeah, air conditioning blew. It was 116 degrees in my air conditioning blew. Oof, oh. Dude, forget that, man. 116. Yeah, yeah. you had 116. Oh, yeah. That's well, awesome. one day, yeah, one day it hit that. That was that was nuts. that's rough. It was pretty. Yeah, it was, and my AC went out, and it was it was 92 degrees. Um downstairs i have a separate u- a, a second unit for upstairs so it was cool upstairs but it was it was oh, rough that's rough yeah it's rough it's pretty bad it's rough. um it's only gonna get it's only gonna get hotter every year it just keeps going up and up and up you know um yeah but hopefully my my sales i'm a little bit on a little bit of a streak i hope that continues knock on wood i got some deals in the works so hopefully we see some some more uh Putting some more names on the board. Love it, man. Love it. Yeah, well, we'll Thanks see. Q3 was good for yeah. us. You know, hopefully Q4 will be some of the same. We'll see. We've got, you know, Drew alluded to it on the show earlier today. We've got the, uh, you know, the Fed will come out uh, tomorrow. Well, we're recording tomorrow. So it will have been after. Yeah. This will already happened by the time that we air the show on Thursday, where they'll come out with whatever they're going to do with interest rates and whatever will fall out, bounce, drop. <laughs> dip whatever's gonna happen after that we'll see yeah. it's gonna be interesting for sure so but uh but yeah all right cool all right drew what about you man anything else no nope. i'm good good well listen man thank you for two uh for jumping on obviously Braden. thank you for jumping Glad on to have Braden back yeah man good to be let's back. get it 
All right. Um, yeah, guys. And to the audience, guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. As always, we appreciate it. Without you, there is no us, uh, which I say, and I'll say it again. I'll repeat myself again and say it again and again, because I mean it. And it comes from just the Just for the heart. sake of the audience, just say, Polly, want a cracker? Just say oh, it. Like, just no, one like, time. like a parrot? Parrot? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Polly want a domain name? Um, all right. Well, y'all, that is what it is. We'll see everybody next time here on Domain Sherpa. Peace out, everybody. Good. Peace.